Hey guys, we're back with part three of our solo drilling series with the uh, heavy bag, okay? Um, part one and part two focus on both transitions and our passes. This time we're going to focus on putting those two parts together, okay? So the template we're going to be using today is we're going to start with one guard pass as our beginning and then we're gonna hit at least one transition off of that guard pass, okay? Later on in the video, I'm gonna show you how to possibly hit every transition you have to make a better workout and have a little more fun too, okay? So for our first technique, we're gonna look at using the long step pass to chain to mounting and dismounting, okay? So, if you think about it, when you hit a long step pass, you're essentially starting in a dismount, which sets up the transition. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So again, focus on the small details, a straight back, a strong neck, all right? Pressure into the bag with your hands. We're gonna take a step out. Our elbow's gonna cut to the other side. As it hits the ground, our knee hits the ground. Our hip hits the ground. Big back step, knee facing the ground, okay? Now, once we're here, again, these are the legs, these are the hips. We're in a reverse case katami type situation. We're gonna block the legs and the hips. Okay, step over, scoop the heel, one, two, mount. Elbow over the bag, we're gonna dismount to the other side. Legs wide, block the hips, block the head, and finish. Okay. One more time, a little faster. And with a lot of these techniques, you're gonna see there's different details you can use, different paces you can use, obviously, for a smoother workout. Lots of different ways you can change this however you like. Okay. That is the slow and technical way. Okay. Now we are gonna look at the knee slice pass. Off of the knee slice, we're gonna switch our legs, pop up to knee on belly, and we're gonna switch sides with our windshield wipers. Okay. So, same stance as always. Step forward, hand goes on the same side. Both are touching the back. This is the underhook, guys. Post out, head on the ground if you want, foot out, okay? Now we're gonna slice our knee, hip to the floor, okay? Done with the knee slice. Now, this foot's gonna step forward. Okay, this hand stays on the ground, this hand stays on the ground. We're gonna do a little push up here. As we push up, we're gonna use the space to slide the shin across the back. Knee on belly. Okay, good posture. 45 degrees with the foot, 90 degrees with the knee. Hands on the bag. Knees together, feet together. Go to the other side. And as you can see here, a lot of potential. To start going to our other transitions, which we'll look at later. Okay, one more time. So one, two. Now we're gonna look at one that's extremely common, okay? So we're gonna hit our Toriano pass and then we're gonna go into our arm cut transition. So we're here again. I'm gonna start parallel with the bag. This time I'm gonna use my weight on the bag to hop a little bit perpendicular, okay? Do not cross your ankles. Here. Now I'm gonna change my level, block the head, block the hips, side control. All right, now this is where we hit the arm cut. We're gonna step up. We're gonna raise our elbow, step over the bag, elbow on the ground, knee on the ground, hip on the ground. There's our dismount again with the knee facing down. Block the head, block the hips, side control. Okay. Again. Now, that's a little too slow for you, a little too mechanical. There is a faster way to do this to create a better workout too. More realistic for the transitions too when you're actually sparring. So we're gonna do that exact same thing, but I'm not gonna go to my knees. It's gonna be one. So here, 
instead of going to the knees, we're going to step over the bag. Elbow on the ground, knee on the ground, same details here. The only difference this time is that we're not going to our knees. Okay? It's the same move. Now that we have some easy and common techniques to work on, let's have a little bit of fun. So now we're going to hit our somersault bridge pass, and then we're going to jump to the other side of side control. That sounds really crazy, but don't worry, like everything else, if you master the small details here, it's actually not too bad. All right, so start in the same position, or head on the bag, bridge. Now, once we get into our bridge, especially if you haven't done this before, we can cut this up into two parts. This being part two right now. Part two, we're gonna take one foot and we're gonna cross it to the other side. That's gonna build our base here. Okay, and then usually we stop perpendicular to go to side control. This time, we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna keep turning our hips this way so that again, we're parallel to the back. All right, now, this is tripod one. This is tripod two and tripod three, okay? My jumping power is gonna come out of me engaging my toes. So right now my feet, my insteps are flat. I wanna bring my toes up this way, okay? Here. Now we're gonna lean into the tripod, toes engaged, push, jump. And now we're on the other side, okay? See, not that bad, one more time. Now that we're on the topic of fun and getting a good workout in, this is probably the best sequence for that. So instead of doing crazy somersault passes, we're going to look at getting as many transitions as we possibly can. Okay? So I saved the X pass for last because it's a very easy movement to get this type of game going. So over here. Again, when we axe pass, we're gonna take a step out. Our other foot's gonna step across to the bag, touching the back. Our shin's gonna go across the back. Okay, and the instep is hooking the back. Same as knee on belly. Foot is 45 degrees, knee is bent 90. All right, and now we're here. Let's hit our transitions. Let's do the knee on belly switch first. Forward, around. Now let's step over the head with knee on belly. Engage the toes, step around, knees together. Now we're on the other side. Let's go back the other way. The pass isn't working. Engage the toes, raise the elbow, step over the head. Here's your arm cut transition. Let's say we're not satisfied here. Hands on the ground, bring your knees behind you. Head on the floor, hop over the back. Let's say we want to move to the mount now. Elbow over the head, switch your base. Lock the hips, step over. And now we're in the mount. That's every transition we looked at today, and a few more too, okay? So, do it a little faster so you can kind of get the idea of how you're gonna get a good workout. these videos we're accomplishing two goals right we are getting that nice workout in that nice drilling session and that's great the second thing we're accomplishing is we are learning good details for actual jiu-jitsu techniques is the whole long step pass going to be the same as the actual long step pass when we do it in class when we come back uh no but you are getting a lot of small, fine details that you can transplant into those techniques once you do come back to class, okay? Whether it's knee on belly, fixing this, okay? Fixing this, or whether it's your dismount, fixing this, okay? The gym might be closed right now, but there's a lot of ways to fix some of your issues. Guys, I want to say thank you to my sponsor, Prodigy Kimonos, right? Uh, 
best gi I've ever worn, best fitting. Go check them out, prodigykimonos.com. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the video in the comments, all right? If you're able to chain some cool transitions together, go ahead and send me a video, all right? Maybe I'll post it. Thanks, guys. Take care. Prodigykimonos.com. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the video in the comments, all right? If you're able to chain some cool transitions together, go ahead and send me a video, all right? Maybe I'll post it. Thanks, guys. Take care.